Okay. Today I've got this power washer. It's a Honda engine with a pump. And it's, uh, I bought this at Home Depot quite a while ago, probably eight years ago. And it's an Excel 2800, 2800 PSI. And uh, the motor kept running good. I just changed the oil in it and in the pump. And it just stopped. It just stopped high pressure, so I'm I'm thinking it might be this here. So I'm going to pull this apart and take a look, see if there's anything in there that might be uh, restricting or sticking or causing an issue. I did notice when I was running it that it was leaking a little bit under here as well. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to remove this though and take a look and see if that, uh, I believe that's the uh, restrictor valve, I think they call that, or relief valve or whatever they're calling it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take a look and pull it down and just see if that's uh, functioning right. So stay tuned. So good. I don't know if that's I feel metal fragments there. Seems to be okay. Well, I'm gonna get a wrench on that and pull that out and see if that what that looks like so stay tuned now that all seems to be okay the o-ring seems a little messed up there but not too too bad see any issues I see the check valve uh, seems like it's okay hmm well I think maybe the next step is to uh, research this a little bit more and find out what I can find out. I knew it was leaking a little bit here. Maybe it's got something to do with the, the high temperature relief valve down here. Because I saw that that wasn't uh, down here. That wasn't working so much. And it did get hot because I put the wand down for a moment and it was working fine and then all of a sudden stopped working. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. So. I'm going to have to dig this, dig into this a little further, maybe pull the pump apart and see what's going on. I might take these Allen screws off and see, pull the head, head of the pump off and see if there's any damage there. So stay tuned. Okay, I pulled the head of the pump off and uh, everything looks pretty decent. Um, you, there's a little bit of maybe some corrosion here from where, where the O-ring seat the pistons look good. Everything looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I can say is, is that these, the reason it leaked is probably because of the O-rings here. They're, they're looking a little worn, uh, especially by the valve seats here. Uh, as you can see right in here, these, these are kind of worn. So it was leaking, I believe, around in these three uh, O-rings. These don't look too bad. And I've tried to research a little bit and see if I can find a seal kit for this pump. But uh, there isn't anything that I can find, at least not readily. They, uh, they just want to sell you a new pump that's a replacement pump for this model. And they just don't uh, sell this model anymore, or they don't sell even the pump replacement for it. They have an upgrade pump that's at around 3,000 PSI. Um, that's supposed to be a better pump, 
Yeah, it's a couple hundred bucks though, and I, I'm thinking there's something very minor wrong with this. And what I did find out, when I pulled the pump off, you can see on the shaft here that there's supposed to be a Woodruff key of some sort there. And I looked inside, and I'm sorry, but I wiped out it, the pump already, but there was all kinds of uh, shavings in there, like aluminum shavings or metal shavings, but but there was no Woodruff key. It's either It was either ground down to smithereens and just pulverized and or it slipped out of there somehow and, and got lost. So it doesn't make any sense. But I would have thought that I would have been able to find a key somewhere. Now, there's some remnants right here, maybe. It's hard to see that. But if we can turn the light here a little bit. I don't know. Maybe this is maybe this is the the rest of it right here. But that's what I found inside the pump. All kinds of shavings like this. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it was probably better over here. But uh, there's definitely like these little shavings and they were everywhere inside this motor. And I'm thinking that's what's left of the keyway. Now, when I put the pump back on the shaft, I'll just set it there for right now. And, uh, and I'm going to pull the cord. I'm not going to start the motor, but I'm going to. Whoop! I can't hold the. Uh, I can't hold the motor. And uh, what I'll do here, I'll put that back on. I've got these screws in here. I'll take these out and uh, demonstrate that when I put this back on. And uh, I'll put in maybe one screw to hold it. Maybe two just to hold it steady. Now, that should hold it steady, at least the pump will hold it stable. Now I'm going to pull the cord and you'll see nothing happened. <laughs> I, what I thought I was going to see is, because I did this earlier, that the pistons were actually turning. But because that Woodruff key isn't there, it's not catching, so that's most likely why. But I did that one other, before I pulled it out, I, I did it, and they did move without the water key. But, let me see here. I'm going to put it on the bench here. And uh, I can turn that pump inside, or that shaft inside with my finger, and you can see that those pistons are coming in and out and the motor is turning just fine the, the pump is turning just fine now if the motor is catching that Woodruff key with the Woodruff key on the shaft then it would turn that pump so that's why this thing is not working I'm sure of it so the only other problem is the leak I have and that requires new o-rings That'll require new O-rings in the head. And I don't know if I can just put regular O-rings in here, pop these out, leave the valves, and just put new O-rings on. Even these O-rings aren't bad. I mean, if I pull one of these out, I mean, after 
this was at least seven years old. And those, those O-rings aren't even that bad. I mean, I'd like to replace them, but I just don't know where I can purchase new ones. I mean, they've got some wear. But, uh, but that's not my problem but, uh, that I can tell. But it's just a good practice to replace all the O-rings when you're, when you're taking these apart like this. So anyway, I'm going to uh, research that a little bit. I've already got an order a new uh, Woodruff key, you know, for the, uh, for the motor and the pump. And if I didn't show you, there's also in here, there's the, the notch there for the, for the key. And it goes all the way way down. I mean, it's worn. It is definitely worn. Um, it's got a little nick in it here, but I don't think that's I don't think that's all that horrible. But uh, it's like that the key just got shredded inside there. But it don't. It don't look all that bad in there. So if anybody's got any suggestions out there on, you know, where that Woodruff key would have went, let me know. I mean, I all I saw was a bunch of uh, particulates, metal shavings, all around the uh, perimeter in here, and I've already wiped them out. And I'm sure that's where it went. It just got shredded by the hardened shaft there. And uh, that's got to be what it is. So stay tuned, and uh, you'll uh, you'll see this assembled, and hopefully it'll work when I get it back together. So take care, and don't forget to subscribe.